In this video, I will cover the simple steps for creating a detailed full mouth digital impression. I will begin by sitting behind the patient at the 12 o'clock position with the display on my dominant side. This will allow me to have easy access to the display touchscreen and the wand without twisting or turning. After completing the case RX, I'm ready to begin scanning. I'll tap on the scanning sleeve icon at the top of the screen to activate the wand. Waiting 10 seconds after the light turns on allows the tip to defog before I place it in the patient's mouth. Next, I will place the tip of the wand on the occlusal surface of the terminal molar. I'll begin by scanning the entire occlusal of the arch. Being sure to keep the wand flat on the occlusal, I'll steadily bring the wand toward the anterior. When I reach the bicuspid, I'll continue across the anterior, tilting slightly to the lingual, and at the contralateral bicuspid, proceed by moving the tip straight back to the opposing terminal molar. Once I've reached the most terminal tooth, I'll rotate to the lingual. I'll bring the cable end of the wand out to the side and maintain a 45 degree angle of the wand tip to the lingual surface. Using a twisting motion, I'll continue around the entire arch, being sure to capture the inner proximal anatomy of the entire lingual surface. After I have completed the lingual, I'll rotate to the buccal. and use a rocking motion as I move toward the anterior to capture the inner proximal anatomy. When I cross the midline, I'll move the wand tip toward the opposite terminal tooth and use the same rocking motion to capture the buccal surface from the posterior to the anterior. Moving from posterior to anterior when I'm scanning the buccal surface reduces the interference from the cheek and provides a smoother scanning experience. Now that I've completed scanning the buckle, I'll move on to capturing the incisal anatomy of the anterior. I'll place the wand so that the cuspid and lateral are centered in the viewfinder. Then, I'll roll from the lingual surface over the incisal edge to the buckle surface. I'll repeat this on the contralateral side. These scans help to ensure that the lingual and buccal segments are joined with the accurate incisal surfaces. To move to the next arch, I have three options. I can tap on the specified arch on the touchscreen, press the arrow key on the segment indicator box, or use the touchpad on the wand. To activate the touchpad, I'll press on both wand side buttons simultaneously, release, and then use a steady firm swiping motion from left to right to move to the next segment. To go back to a previous segment, I'll swipe from right to left. Next, I will use the same scanning sequence and technique to complete the upper arch. The final segment is the bite. It's recommended to confirm the correct bite prior to scanning. When I'm ready to begin scanning, I'll have the patient open, use the wand to retract their cheek, and have them close in centric occlusion. Here I'll bring the wand tip gently against the teeth, observing the occlusion in the viewfinder. Moving forward in a small wave-like motion, I'll capture three to four teeth and then move to the contralateral side using the same technique. Once I've completed the two arches and bite, I'll tap on the view icon at the top of the touchscreen display to view my digital model in high resolution. This is a good time to evaluate my model to ensure I've included all the necessary anatomy. At this point, I can add additional scans by going back to scanning mode or wait for the high resolution model to be ready. If this is an Invisalign scan, I'll confirm that I have filled in any areas of missing anatomy. This will be indicated in red when I'm in monochrome mode and purple when I'm in color mode. I will also confirm that the scans contain the five Invisalign requirements, solid incisal edges, the distal anatomy of the terminal molars, two millimeters of gingival tissue, the inner proximal surfaces, and the correct bite. 
When I'm satisfied with the digital model, I will send the case.